Hey, welcome back, everybody. Awesome. Welcome back to the hangars, everybody. And you guys are in for a treat today because we got some fun and festivities planned for the F100 behind me. Let's get going. I didn't catch that one on camera, but geez, that thing hurt right on the spine. Ow. <laughs> oh, we'll count that as a phantom bite. All right, so what we got going on with the Phantom, uh, there's, I'm the only one here today. Uh, crew Chief Al is off, and we don't really have much to go on right now with that, uh, with the uh, ground power uh, transformer rectifier. Now our logistics guys are, have a pretty good lead on getting a new one, uh, is what I've been told. And so I don't know much beyond that, but, uh, Fingers crossed we get a new one and uh, we can continue our work on this fine lady here in the hangar. Oh, that's neat. You can see the uh, the lights flickering and stuff. It's going to be difficult to not get the stick again. It's okay if you do. It'll just tell people line later. How are we looking? Uh, a lot of red still. Oh, that's it. I'm oh. trying to get it from different angles too. So like, uh, put it on the left side and then turn it right so it's it's at an angle looking at the right side. Does that make sense? All right, well, I'm, I'm on the... I'm on the right right now. Did I lose it? No. All right, so what you guys are seeing here is uh, 3D scanning of various sections of the cockpit. Right now we're doing the instrument panel. Throttle idle cut off. So today was a pretty fun day. It's also been a very long and very hot day, as you guys can see. But we had a special guest here, and we have Joe Grinelli here from Grinelli Designs, who are doing the DCS F100D model. So, hello community. <laughs> what and, uh, a day it was today, I gotta tell you. It was an interesting day. It was and very hot, and that battery-powered fan over there definitely was a lifesaver, and plus plenty of cold water. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, we were able to get a lot done uh, with what cockpit scans and we did some 3D photogrammetry. We did some scans. We were able to get some sound audio clips. We were able to really dive as deep as we could in one single day, thanks to Jamie and the Collins Foundation for granting us access to the aircraft. And this only makes the F100D that much better. Um, something I'm looking forward to, and uh, definitely got some good info out of the manuals too. I think. Oh, absolutely. We have a bookshelf of uh, manuals that you can't see behind us. There's maybe 20 or 30 plus. And uh, we had a team working on manuals. We had a team working on scanning. We had videography, photography. It was a brilliant day. It was a wonderful day. Yeah, that, that 3D scanner was pretty interesting. Uh, getting, what, sub-millimeter level? Yeah, uh, 0 0.2 millimeters is what our goal was. Wow. So hopefully we could share some of those 3D scans with the community later. It looking awesome uh, would you be able to give us a uh, like a short update on where the project is at the moment sure the f100 right now it will fly we have our alpha entering beta flight model we have hydraulics fuel engine and all our core systems our radios are up and running we're working currently now shifting into weapons and we're working on uh, some of the seeker head stuff some of the more finite uh, details within the F-100 with pylon selections and other advanced weapon release systems similar to the A-4. And uh, overall, we're making really solid progress with the programming side of the uh, affair. And as we dive deeper, like days like today, allows us to get the art caught up and almost beyond 
and we're really excited to start getting some more content coming your way. Awesome. Definitely looking forward to that. Now, for me, not knowing uh, weapons wise, I think this carried the early Sidewinders, probably every single dump bomb in the inventory. Pretty and... much. Some CBUs. Okay, and rockets? Yes. A uh, variety 2.75 rocket. The, little, the rocket pods? The rocket pods. Okay. And uh, we also have some illumination flares. Napalm is a big one, but we'll just leave that where it is for now. I don't think that's modeled in DCS at Hopefully all. we get there one day. I know that some of our peers also can take advantage of using the napalm. So yes. we're going to work with everyone possible to make sure that we all get to have fun with the good stuff. Awesome. Definitely looking forward to it and uh, hopefully soon enough to see some uh, video of it too. Absolutely. Uh, it, as we dive deeper with our modelers and processing this amazing trip, uh, we'll definitely bring some content your way and uh, try to show a little bit more than has been. But we've been working every single day, almost 24-7. Every waking minute from me has been devoted to trying to make this airplane as good as it can be. We know we can do it, so just a matter of time, and uh, we hope to see some of that content we gather today um, relatively soon on the on the Discord. Yeah, and then yeah, with how accurate the uh, everything else is in DCS, definitely looking forward to seeing this. Oh yeah, I, I, we can't wait. It's an amazing. It's been a dream of mine for a while now, and uh, we're just super stoked to be among some of the greats and uh, sh you know chasing our chasing our dreams. Yeah, and keeping the history of some of these awesome aircraft alive. Absolutely, my father served in Vietnam. Oh, wow. And uh, it's it's special to my heart to be able to do preserve the history that kind of went with that uh, Vietnam era war and everything that we kind of been through. And it's uh, really just special to have access and to be out here. So we can't thank you enough. <laughs> Our pleasure. More than happy to help. And speaking of Vietnam, if I got my history right, the 100 was the first Air Force jet to be a wild weasel for Sam hunting, I think, right? Absolutely. It also flew over 380,000 sorties, the most of any airframe in Vietnam, hands down. Wow. So it's it's really a quite a special aircraft. We want to capture it and do it right. Definitely historical. Absolutely. And it's huge. You don't realize how big it is until you're standing and looking at it in the face. It's She's nuts. A big one. It's absolutely unbelievable. So uh, what a day it's been. Today's been almost a day you know uh once in a lifetime kind of experience and uh we're super grateful to have that awesome yeah it's been a pleasure it's been fun if not a very hot day today it's the middle of texas summer yes we're in it's been average about 98 degrees pretty much since yeah 9 a.m to 7 8 yeah. o'clock at night yeah. yeah i'm covered i definitely need to it's sticky. i need help <laughs> nice well, awesome! It's been a great. It's it's been a fun. It's been a fun and fantastic day, and definitely looking forward to seeing uh, more of the F100 uh, coming up soon. Hopefully, awesome! Yeah, I mean, we will do our best to deliver uh, some of this information that we've had here. We've already kind of got some snuck in the Discord, so if you're not already, check out the Grinelli Design Discord. Yep. And uh, GrinelliDesigns.com for the information for that, as well as our progress tracker that we're trying to keep up to date. And I'll put some of the links for this stuff down in the video description below so you guys can check that out at your leisure. Awesome. Can't thank you enough. Anytime. Our pleasure, Joe. Thank you so much. Awesome. Now, thank you guys for watching. This has been an incredible day, and we'll see you next time.